Hello, everyone. It is Heather Hurt back with the NRW New Release Wednesday. Remember here, even though we are part of Nerds Rule the World, we are the New Release Wednesday here, and it is Wednesday, and we are really excited. Uh, it's a pretty gosh darn big week this week. So let's get right into it. Welcome to New Release Wednesday. Wednesday, January 26th, and we just need to talk about the elephant in the room, don't we? Batman and Catwoman Christmas special number one, one shot from Tom King and John Paulion from DC Comics Black Label. It's a little late, guys. Still an amazing issue, but it's just a little bit late. If you, now, now guys, if you want to read a book about Selena's past, you know, stories that are a little bit different, stories from her young days, but stories that define how she got to be where she is right now with Bruce, then you definitely want to pick up uh, Bat Batman Catwoman Christmas special, number one. Of course, of course, okay, all right, all right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yes. Guys, let's really talk about it. Sajas Day! I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Um, yes. And uh, it's been three years, guys. Three years. And you could feel it. Today, I, I'm not even kidding. My fellow comic retailers were so, I haven't seen them this happy on a new comic book day. And it's the best day of the week, guys. I have not seen them this happy in four ever. Like Sandlot. Sandlot. Four ever. Like it's, oh, guys. Three years, three years, and we finally get to see what Hazel and her family have been doing. Don't worry, don't worry, don't don't worry. I won't, I won't share anything. Saga fans uh, are almost as bad as Star Wars fans when it comes to spoilers. I would never, not not as bad as Spider Man fans, not nearly as bad as Spider -Man, Spider Man fans, but I I would not. So what I would suggest for you is, you know, Saga is back right this very moment. You need to go to your comic shop. Uh, writer Brian K. Vaughn and artist Fiona Staples have put together a beautiful, oh, beautiful 44-page issue, only $2.99 at your local comic shop. I mean, only $2.99, guys, an image book. Saga is literally considered one of the best comic books in history, uh, it, especially of indie comics, and you need it. Like, you, oh, that's so good, guys. I could sit here and daydream for a couple minutes. But to be real, let's let's talk through this a little bit, I, guys. If have you if you haven't been reading Saga, I'm not even kidding. If you haven't been reading Saga, then one, your comic shop is doing you a disservice. But two, you need to uh, definitely go to your local comic shop and pick up Volume One. Volume One is one of Image Comics' ten dollars comics. You should be reading Saga. Read the Sajas. You need it in your life. You deserve Saga. You deserve it. Saga number 55. All right, I'm all done. I'm all done. I love the series. I've been so excited for this. I've, uh, I'm just going to squeeze them more. I love them so much. Okay. All right. We'll keep going. I, 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 I won't keep this all the saga, even though it's very important. Shh. Don't let her hear. She'll say I'm lying. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so let's talk about other comics, like other DC books, because, you know, when do I not talk about DC comics? This week was actually a pretty small one. Um, it seemed like there might have been uh, some purposeful move around, maybe because a certain book came out and there was going to be competition. So let's talk about other DC books. So uh, luckily enough, I only have two more. So you're, you're going to be nice and easy. Uh, the other one, the first one is a is another one shot. Superman and Robin, the magical mystery cube one shot from writer Peter J. Tomasi, uh, inkers, I'm going to totally butcher this, as you know, I am terrible at names, so I apologize. Uh, Victor Bogdanovic, Victor Bogdanovic, there we go, I'm so sorry. Uh, Scott Hanna, Daniel Hen Henriquez, Matt, Santor Matt Santorelli, 
I'm just really good at this today, uh, with colorist Ivan Placencia and Matt Herms, uh, letterer Tom Napolitano. Uh, so the last time we saw Kent and Damien together, they were the super sons, right? Um, but now, now they're a little bit older, a little bit wiser, but they're still fighting crime. They're still the same guys deep at heart. Damien is maybe just a little bit more aware of weapons. The big news though, is that John is now wearing the cape of Metropolis. He is now pr the protector and he is fighting for, for truth, justice, and lots of other grown up things like equality, rights, the environment. <laughs> um, but, but darkness is still invading. Darkness, it, he still has a responsibility as Superman. So uh, when something from his past comes up, he needs to return to the, the still Robin, the still Robin and, and ask for help from Damien. And the big question isn't, can they defeat evil? It's, do they still have it in them to defeat evil together? It's, it's a very cute little one shot. I definitely suggest it. It's, it's really great. Superman and Robin in, uh, in the magical mystery cube. It's a tongue twister for me. I'm just terrible with words anyway. Uh, it's a one shot from DC Comics. Definitely pick it up. It's a lot of fun. All right, all right. Last one, last one. Sorry guys, I got my notes, but I got, I got a kitty in my lap. So I gotta make sure that I, I get my notes correctly. <laughs> Um, Peacemaker Disturbing the Peace number one from DC Comics. So with the show, and I'm not even going, you, you guys know about the show. It's amazing. If you haven't watched it, you, if you haven't watched Peacemaker and, or you haven't been reading Saga, we need to have a serious talk. Please DM me on Twitter. I will, we need to talk seriously. You need to be doing both both of these things. Um, Peacemaker has been so, so much fun. Probably one of the best shows on TV right now. Um, and definitely top three best opening themes of all time. It's, I think it's actually illegal to skip through the opening. Like that's that good. And people have just been craving Peacemaker content ever since it came out. And that's where the series came in. And it's a, it's by, by Garth Ennis is writing the book guys. Why aren't you, you need to be reading this gosh darn book. Garth Ennis, uh, Gary Brown is the artist. Lee, uh, Lee Lothridge is the colorist and letterer Rob Steen. Um, so, you know, psychiatry is, is a big theme in DC comics, but we, we really are still trying to figure out if it works, right? Like what we see, it doesn't always do that. Um, so, so Christopher Smith, AKA the peacemaker, we want to know what happened before he became the, hero that we know of him today. Um, and, and before he became what we know now, uh, he was part of the, he was part of a special forces unit with the military. And he, he went on very dark, very bloody, very destructive top secret missions. And, but that's still even after his childhood, abuse, violence, stuff a child should never see ever let alone experience. And, and it just led him to what we know today. And there is a, a, psychi a new psychiatrist on the block, Dr. Sedwick, and she wants to know what makes Christopher Smith tick? What turned him into this? What, where did he come from as, as a human into this into what he be, what he evolves into? Um, so it's, it's a little bit past, and, but we, and we get to walk down a, an incredibly bloody and gory history, but Peacemaker Disturbing the Peace number one, you should be reading it. It should already be in your hands. You should have already gone to your comic shop. Saga number 55. You should already have gone to your comic shop. Um, but anyways, guys, that, that's it. Uh, we, we had some great, we have some really great books. We do have some from Marvel. Um, we do have set, we do have a Cowboy Bebop number one. If you were a fan of the series, there is a, the Netflix crossover is, is available. Um, we have some really great books out this week, but with the types of number ones, we want to stick to what would really make, what we really want to pull out, what we really want to show you. 
and why you should be going to your comic shop. Why it's so important, not just from a customer perspective, but you should be going because self-care. Comics are self-care. Um, if you ever have any questions, or you ever want to know more about comics, you can always follow me on Twitter at, at nerd is a Heather, excuse me, nerd is a Heather, which is the opposite of my TikTok and Instagram handles at Heather is a nerd. Um, reach out to me. I can help you find your local comic shop. I can help. I can talk to you about subscriptions, whatever you like to do. I will happily be here for you. I will happily talk to you about Saga. I would love to do that with you. Um, we can talk about Moon Knight, which, by the way, I wasn't able to talk to you about the trailer last week. Oh, my God. What a week. What a week, guys. And I, you want to know, do you need some nerdy? Do you need more nerd? Do you need more nerd? We want to thank our wonderful sponsor, as always, Bunnies and Cream. They have some really great, fun, and nerdy uh, gamer-themed, so, some uh, fun anime-themed uh, body scents, bath bombs, lotions, it, everything you could want. And it's it's really cute and it's local and it's small. Um, so so definitely pick up some stuff. We want to thank our sponsor. If you uh, if you use our code, uh, nerds rule. Once again, that's nerds rule at checkout. You will get uh, you will get twenty percent off at checkout and uh, free shipping. That's it. That's all I did. Nerds rule. Uh, use it. Uh, that way we know the the bunnies and creams knows that we sent you there and uh, we appreciate it of course we we appreciate the support hit subscribe down below and i'm sorry for this very rambling episode <laughs> i'm just having so much fun and i'm so excited guys i'm so excited okay um so uh and, and follow us anywhere uh at the nrw on twitter and at new release wednesday we still own that one on instagram and uh we want to thank you guys have a wonderful wednesday and we will see you next week Oh,